So uh, you're Italian now? Yes. Definitely. Whereabouts? Uh, Where I'm from northern Italy and a very small village called Muggio, very close to Monza where the Grand Prix run. Oh, so th do you have a Ferrari? Uh, uh, I, I, I hope so. You, you didn't open this uh, university to convince the world that pineapple is good on pizza. I just want to make sure. <laughs> no, no. That no, one is no, a mistake. No. Firm, that professionally, it's a mistake. <laughs> oh, it's not. So you may come the, up with something uh, else, right? <laughs> I, I won't say that. I won't. We have coffee now and uh, uh, it's tasting fantastic. I mean, I'm a very amateur, I'm a rookie in this field. <laughs> uh, we don't drink coffee anymore. No, well, I drink coffee, but this interview you know, is over. <laughs> I was pouring my cup of coffee for the morning for my breakfast. That coffee tasted nothing, just pure hot water, nothing else. No, no smells, not a rum. Don't. I think that my coffee is crying now. <laughs> it's it's all right. They're not talking about you, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I'm going. So how did it happen? I, I smell COVID here. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Unfortunately, Sorry. I I got COVID. Uh, so and how do you cope with that? The, uh, started, to kind of take it off, like uh, he started sort of... smoking cigarettes. So that's the <laughs> only way. It's way better now. Yeah. The most important thing is to share the experience with yeah. the other and the sharing a cigarette with yeah. people <laughs> living with this experience. <laughs> so we are now on a clinical trial with a few hospitals. Otorins, oh, uh, okay. neuroscientist. Why did you start being um, a food taster? Well, since I was very a young kid, I was very interested about food, about whole cuisine. Are you undercover when you go food tasting, for example, <laughs> in restaurants? I happened to visit a few restaurants, uh, shade undercover. I actually was attracted by a box that is right behind. Yeah, that's the results of our studies about uh, olfactory trainings for long covid so we have a neurological inflammation like a damage. that goes on yeah it's a damage related to the brain oh. so how many hours do you train per day you said you wake up also at 5 a.m on, on an average mm. every day for every lunch breakfast and dinner so and i spend every day visiting producers good is it true that you can uh, understand for example for milk uh from which altitude is it coming from it's all about the result of training i spent years and years in these laboratories are you still there myself, yeah. to train my palate to train my nose i spent years and years New senses, yeah. new feelings, yeah. new sounds. And, so the, the new coffee, and now I think <laughs> the coffee that smells like Erica's feet. So, uh, <laughs> so I, I can send you. I can send you the the the, sample. the bottle, the little sample. <laughs>